Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. First off, I have to apologize. I know it's been a long while since the last episode. I'm so sorry about that. I've just been so crazy busy with so many things, including the brand new PVZ game, Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. It is a sequel to Garden Warfare 1 and 2, so be sure to go check that out if you're interested in it. But we're back in fashion here with PVZ2. As you can see, I've dropped a couple leagues. I'm in the Silver League. And the last uh, battles season I covered was Blast very fine, but it was the very beginning of it. I missed every single other tournament except for the final one, which is Blastberry Vine and Friends versus Zomboss. So that's what we'll be checking out today. There's still 21 hours left. As you can see, it ups the damage of the cannon plants, electric plants, but also totally cancels frozen plant damage. So that'll be interesting. And as we can see with the season, Blastberry Vine's big boom season is almost done. I will do what I can in the next couple of episodes that I'm recording. Try to get this up to 150, where it's at 50 right now if I can get it up to 150 that means we can actually unlock boss berry vine before the end of this season so I'm gonna try my best to do that but with that being said let's go ahead and get started and hope for the best I hope I'll play well I'm not really sure I'm probably gonna be rusty for the next couple of episodes I'm gonna apologize about it ahead of time but I'll do what I can and just have some fun playing PvZ2. a lot of people thought I canceled the series for some reason it, that's not the case I'm just busy I've been working on so many videos all the time. It's been hard to keep up. So we start with Blastberry Vine. Like I said before, uh, we have like cannon type plants, which is stuff or any kind of like catapult. So that means coconut, cannon, cabbage pole, kernel pole. Those kind of plants are buffed. Along with it, electric plants are buffed. Um, but as per usual, I'll try to find a strategy that works first off with free to play plants before we move on to anything expensive. So, or purchasable, I suppose you could say. Um, so that's what I'm looking for right now. There's also Banana Launcher. Those can be pretty good, but I feel like they're not really good for battles. I might be wrong though. We just need to experiment a lot for sure. Um, and I don't see too much more. I will do Armament because technically I got that without paying anything. So I think that would be worth our strategy. But with that being said, I think we should backtrack a little bit because probably the best thing for me is going to be Melon Pole, who I totally scrolled over. He's gonna be the most, most versatile from what I've experienced. If we could do any electric to time, to, to not time that up, to, to tie that up pretty well, I guess electric weed could work. Hmm. It really depends on what gets thrown at us, you know? So we have a lot of experimentating to do. Maybe potato mines just in case. And then cherry bombs? I don't know. I don't think cherry bombs would be a very good idea. Um. Maybe, maybe we'll do cherry bombs. We'll leave it like this. We'll try it. I mean, I, one thing you might be able to notice is the fact that there is a, um, what's it called? There is some mine carts. I don't know what I want to put on those. Maybe I could just put some, some of that. I don't know if that'd actually be all too helpful. And that's all I can do for right now. So let's, let's back this up a little bit. I mean, I don't know if that'll change too much. I think it's more important to get all of the melon pulls out first and then worry about Blastberry Vine. So if we can only do one, then we can only do one. This seems like an awful strategy. Maybe it'll give me some extra sun. I'm not really sure how this is gonna go. I don't have the best feeling about it, I gotta be honest, but we'll just try our best. We'll earn sun while we can, but also use this as much as possible. Oh no. Oh no, I was not expecting the onslaught of chickens. Okay, this is already really bad. Um. Oh, this is really bad. So chickens are a thing in this one. Okay, that could at least somebody. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Get more Blastberry Vines out whenever I can. But also Electric Reeds are pretty good for the chickens. So maybe I could work on that a little bit. Ooh, lots of sun coming in now. Get some more Electric Reeds out because once again, they help a lot with the chickens and that's definitely something that's stressful right now. There we go, at least got the middle lane set up with that and we're getting more stuff coming in. Get more electric reeds. Man, oh man. Yeah, that's actually working out a lot better. A whole bunch better. That was okay. Oh, I'm actually all filled up with this, so we'll do this. Launch those, those uh, melons everywhere. Bombardment's available. Actually, I should be probably using it with that because bombardment's amazing. I'm using, yeah, bombardment's the right one, right? I thought bombardment was the one that makes everything fly around. I mean, I might be right. I can't really remember. Or like all the stuff that slams down. Anyways, that seems about good to me. I can do this. Let me try doing this again with bombardment. Wow, dude, wow. 
there we go. I mean, we have a pretty good score, 251. I mean, compared to the competition, we're definitely keeping ahead, so let's hope that continues. I'm gonna keep at it as much as I possibly can. Of course, Zomboss makes a lot of things complicated here. Oh, got rid of a good chunk. Uh, so what can I do here? I can get that there. Another electric reed is probably good. Maybe I can work on more melon pulse then. Oh boy. But yeah, we might even be able to crack 500,000 here. That would be fantastic. Let's get another cherry bomb. Get rid of some of those guys with it. Okay, come on, come on. Bombardment is back up. That's gonna launch a bunch of stuff. And then I might just use this again and see if that works at all. I really don't know. I feel like it's working different. Maybe I got the wrong one, or maybe it's just there's too much on the screen. I don't know. We'll definitely beat up this Gargantuar as much as we can as well. Okay, we got lots heading our way. Maybe not the best thing to do. I could have done, yeah, that. No, here. Okay, uh, that eventually got him, that's good. We definitely need another big burst of everything, and there it is, thank you very much. Okay, uh, I need more electric reeds. I should have spent more on that, I guess. Uh, let's quickly use all of our stuff. I probably should have done that sooner. But overall, not a bad score, 754. A cherry bomb, ah, too late, oh well. 754 is a pretty good opening score for not really knowing what I'm doing. I, I liked it, I liked it. So I'm happy with that, we get 3,000 coins. I guess we had a win streak at some point or another. That's pretty cool to see. And there we go, there's our money. So now with that, ooh, that jumped us a good chunk. We were at like 50 something before, so that's always good to see. I think we got five for winning, yeah, of course. Uh, so there is some lily pads, lily pad experience, and some snow pea. And for the jalapeno, homing thistle, squash, solar tomato, primal potato vine, kiwi beast, chomper, ooh, grape shot, split pea. Oh, that's gonna be a level up. And walnut, oh, almost a level up for walnut. Tile turnip, there's a lot. Perfume shroom, pepper pulp, and Citron, come on, more level ups. So close to a couple level ups there. That was really good. Yeah, that was 20 of them. Very nice. I'm not gonna get the Silver League bundle, even though I'm actually tempted, because I really need those gauntlets. Uh, we're just gonna keep going for right now, and just try again. The thing is, I don't really know what I wanna do different. That was pretty good. I don't know if I need Potato Mine, to be honest with you. Maybe I could replace that with something, but I don't even know what that would be. I mean, now that we've gotten that done, and I've, I feel like that's a pretty viable strategy just with free-to-play plants, maybe we could start introducing the non-free-to-play plants a little bit. Um, first off, I just wanna do Electric Pea and try that out, because I think that'd be, oh no, what did I just do? There we go. Uh, so get rid of Potato Mine. Where's Electric Pea at? Um, somewhere around here. Here you are. So let's try that for now. I, I don't know if I'll add too much more. Okay, I know that bombardment will explode everywhere when you use him. That can be pretty crazy. I mean, I think this is pretty good. I think we'll just try this for now and work from there. Um, but looking through, is there anything I wanna consider? I don't think so. The major problem is like, obviously Wintermelon would be good if it wasn't for the fact that winter damage is totally negated. So I think this is our best bet. Okay, we'll try it. I'm preparing my defenses. So with this one, honestly, it might be good to get like an initial start. Well, maybe not there. Maybe I can move them a little bit far farther. But this way, I don't have to worry about the initial chickens that come in like crazy. And then I'll do these as, as many places as I can afford to do them. And let's rock with that. Okay, so ready, set, plant. That's gonna go crazy, I can only hope. I just really need more sun as soon as possible. Oh no, don't immediately get rid of one of them. That's a shame. But yeah, maybe I could work, um, I don't know if it's worth it though, because we get these huge pockets of sun every once in a while. But I was thinking like, maybe it'd be better if we did, you know, some kind of sun shroom combo with the enlightenment, but I don't know if that'd be worth it. But so far, so good against the chickens. I'm liking what I'm singing. Okay. I don't need to speed things up. I don't know why I'm so tempted to do that. But there is all of that. Very good. Okay. 
The more zombies are getting taken out here, so gonna keep working on this. Dude, that's definitely something I wanna do is just build out all of the blastberry vines to be basically on top of every plant if I can manage. So get that fixed. I mean, I wouldn't mind also more uh, melon bolts. I don't know if that'll make that big of a difference, but we're already at 213,000. I feel like that's really good, given the situation. Uh, let's cherry bomb these guys, because that is a little too much. Maybe it would just be cheaper and better to focus on the blastberry vines instead of building out more. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Calm down. Calm down. You're not being very cool. Uh, there we go. How is this guy just eating through everything? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that was lame. Uh, I don't know. This started well. And it's going south really fast. I don't know if that was a very good idea. Uh, do the bombardment. Launch that stuff everywhere. And this guy's still just charging us. There we go. Okay, we got him. Honestly, this might be good just to set up another one right away. Get that there. Because that's doing really well. Sort of. The bull is messing things up over that way. Let's just do another one. Come on, come on. Get this guy set up. Wow. Things are going crazy, but will we be able to beat 750,000 is the question. Or did I just get lucky that time? I'm not sure. Ah! That's his first time doing that, though. Definitely usually he does that sooner. So I'm not too upset about that, I guess. I don't think we need electric reed, so that's another thing we can replace here. Because there's just too much being having to be placed at once, you know? It's just not reasonable to try to place it. Okay, there's more of that. I got a cherry bomb I could put here. Was hoping I could get the bull with that. Unfortunately, I could not. Maybe I'll put this here just to hold everybody back for another second. Uh, here we go, here we go, come on, come on. Go crazy on them. Go crazy on these dudes. You got it. Cherry bomb here. Boom, still not enough. Oh my gosh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, I only have a couple of seconds left. Do this then. Do that, do anything I can. Three, two, one, no, no! <laughs> so how is that? That was a better score, it was 869,000. I think if we did that enough times, we'd probably be able to find something even better. But yeah, that was great. I enjoyed that quite a lot. Alrighty, so yeah, I think I'm gonna try that one again, but we do get three explosive pinatas, some firework ones, whatever that is. Uh, let's see what we get inside of these. First off, we get some kernel bolts and sling pea and coconut cannon. Ooh, coconut cannon is gonna get a level up. Let me go check the almanac and see if there's anything I can level up, uh, and then we'll keep working from there. So there's definitely some things I can level up in the almanac. We got the repeater for 1500, upping his toughness and his damage. Always a good combo to see. Over this way, we have the coconut cannon for 5,000 coins, level three, ups his sun cost, or lowers the sun cost. Toughness goes up, damage goes up, and firing rate. One of the most important things for a coconut cannon goes up. And then over this way, we have the split P for only 200 coins, a bit cheaper. Toughness and damage, which is the typical thing to improve when we level them up, goes up. And it looks like that is everything for all the plants I have unlocked that need level up, so we're good to go to another round. So, there are some challenge changes I can make. I'm not gonna make too many major changes. I'm gonna be not a dingus and not use a cherry bomb if I have grape shot because it just sort of is that, but better. You know, so I might try that out whenever I can find where Grape Shot is, because I always scroll right over it. And then lastly, we gotta do something that isn't Electric Reed. I just don't need it. We could try something maybe for free, just to slow down some zombies, or something. I don't know if it really matters too much if we get something that costs a ton. We just need to make sure that whatever we do is worth our while. I'm not really sure. And I could try to plonk some Kernel Pulse down, but I feel like that's just not really something we should be doing with our son. So I'm thinking that, I mean, we could do doubled up. That could work. I'm gonna try that. Because there definitely are times where things can get a little bit nasty. And then can I reload? I'm gonna reload that. It should work at least enough in the beginning. Hopefully he gets beat up. He doesn't destroy too many electric peas in the very beginning. But yes, I would love to hear your guys' strategy for this battles game mode. It's been quite a lot of fun already, but I can't wait to continue having fun as we move forward. Hopefully I can get some more sun soon. But there are just so many random elements about battles that it's, it's definitely worth it when you find a strategy to try it multiple times. Okay, so once again, I could do the grape shot. I would rather not right away, but I am still tempted. I will consider doing the enlightenment 
combo. Enlightenment. Uh, what is it? What is it? You know the one. Um, oh gosh. Oh, let's quickly do this. Imitator, help me out here. Enlightenment, uh, Sun Shroom. Because I am just like really in the need for more sun. I say that, but we're already at 135,000 points. Things seem going, like they're going well now, but they can also go very badly very quickly. I don't know if that was the best plant to use that on. Let's use more bombardment. Use the cherry bomb there, because that guy's just a total jerk. I would have loved to use my son in a better situation. I don't know, though. Come on, come on. Let's get that there and that there. If you can give me more bursts of sun like that, I'm gonna be a happy zebra. But if not, I'm not gonna be a happy zebra. Okay, do this because this guy's tough. He is not letting up either. It definitely is a slower going round than before. And I think that might just be, you know, mostly luck, unfortunately. Here we go, here we go. Get that there. Start putting some stuff over this way. Um, is that still reloading? No, 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 I just need more sun. Okay, we're fine though, we're fine. Ah, now we're not fine. Now we're really, really not fine. Uh, I need the sun pronto. Thank you. Just trying to pay attention to everything while I try to survive this, get more sun. Awesome. Electric reed. These guys are dancing around like crazy. Uh, let's do that. Okay, that works out pretty well. Oh, that guy is done. He's finished. He's out of here. Nice. I wouldn't mind, we don't, we don't have much time left. I think it might be worth our while to start stacking on the damage with the bombardment. Oh, I feel like he was about to charge there, but we, we sort of cut him off. I don't know how we did that, but that was good. I don't know if this was worth my while, but I did it. Okay. Once again, now that we have a couple more out, let's start boosting him. 30 seconds running, over a million! I didn't even realize, that's great! I don't know what that was that made us go over a million. I'm pretty sure it's just stacking up on all the catapult plants and then sending in the bombardments. I think that can really make such a major difference. And we're not done yet, that is for sure. Uh, put that there, 10 seconds remaining. Come on, just do what you can. Uh, that's not gonna do much, is it? No, it did something. That is good, 1.1 million. That's actually the best score so far today, which is great because our competition did well as well. I like what we did there. Definitely the bombardment is a good strategy and we get six minutes for it. Isn't that just minty fresh? So let's go for another round. Reward streak, you got six minutes and then we'll finish it off with hopefully another win so we can finish this win streak. Um, I think we're going to be at 73 if I take a look. Um, 73, yeah. My goal is just to get as close as I can to 100 in today's episode and see how it goes. But yeah, with that being said, we gotta go for another round now. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different just at the very beginning. I wanna get more of the grape shots, not the grape shots, the uh, raspberries out as soon as possible because I think it would stack up well against with the bombardment. And that's sort of just something I'm focused on right now is just to make as much of a bombardment impact as I possibly can as soon as possible. So we'll try that. As you can see, the bombardment's attacks will be sort of lighted up or lit up, something like that. Uh, I decided not to get rid of the grape shots. I was thinking about it in you know exchange for enlightenment sunroom. I'm starting to think like that might not be worth our while. Right now, we'll keep with this, getting a bunch of sun. Uh, if things get nasty like they are around this area, then we do that. Okay. Then I can do the same thing over this way as well. See ya. And I am starting to afford more melon bolts, so that's when I can actually just start putting them out. Not too much of a deal. There, and we already have two rows of that, so that's excellent. We're almost ready for our next bombardment. In the meantime, just keep stacking things up as much as I can. Okay, there we go. Get this here, because I don't want to deal with this guy if I don't have to know my stuff! Okay, I'm gonna desperately just set that back up. Get that there, and here. Okay, that might be the best I can do for right now. I'm trying my best. Okay, more sun coming in this time. Ugh. No, I just set that up. Zomboss, what's your deal, Leo? It's almost like you're evil or something. There we go, okay. Yeah, I'm desperately in the need for cash now. But if I spend my money on anything, it has to be or not my money, but I guess like my, my plant food. It has to be on reloading bombardment. That's sort of the most effective thing. 
But if I can just get a couple more melon pulls set up before the last minute, that'd be perfect. There we go. Okay, everybody set up with bossberry vines and stuff. Explode these dudes because they're just a little too close for my comfort. Okay, that was all right. Now let's do bombardment, and this is where things can get crazy because we could do that. Everybody's gonna start launching. And then I can launch it again, get more of this stuff out because bombardment is awesome. It should make a big difference. And we're getting more plant food. So I can just put more stuff out that the bombardment would positively affect. Oh man. And the score is, is launching upwards, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Grab some more sun, put that there. Come on, can we beat our old score? Now is the time to find out. More sun is raining down. Okay, so this can go there. Get in some of that. Okay, not bad, not bad. Gonna get an electric P there, just because I don't know what else to put there. 10 seconds left. I don't have any sun left either. Okay, put that there, come on, come on. And this is a brand new high score. Oh man, I don't have enough sun for the cherry, not the cherry, the grape shot. 1.6 million, so definitely that's a good strategy. Build up as many uh, launching plants as you can and then just rush in those bombardments for the last minute. I think that's my go-to strategy for this. I'm happy with that score for sure. We get our seventh reward streak, which is four pinatas. Let's open those up and see what we get inside. Hopefully some cool stuff. Some jalapenos. Guaca, lava guava. Guacamole. A uh, sling pea. I still need to get a lot more of that to unlock him. And 10 for the tangle kelp, not too bad. Alrighty, so with that done, we still have more to get done, what do you know? Um, I'm tempted for that silver leaf bundle because that way I can get more gauntlets because I think I'm fresh out now, so I'll watch a couple of these ads to build those up and then we'll get back into the action. So I think I was right before to set this up like this. Um, we're gonna keep at that this time and I'll just sort of see if I can't once again refocus, maybe get luckier with maybe getting more plant food or something. Only use the plant food on the bombard bit, bombardment, which I already was doing. Come on, can I get at least one more sun? There it is. Then maybe I'll put this in so that initial rush of zombies isn't too big of a deal. And then when we get this big rush of stuff, I can start working on more. And I think it is smarter to work on the Blastberry Vines faster than the Melon Pulse. Because at first, like this initial wave of zombies, I mean, it can be a little much. If it gets to be a huge problem, I can do that. So, I mean, that's a good waste of sun, I guess. But at the same time, I feel like it's effective. There it is. Oh, you jerk, I just put that down. Oh, maybe I didn't put it down. Maybe it didn't count. I sure hope so. So that was not good. I would rather that not happen again. Um, it doesn't always happen though, but sometimes this happens too. It's, it's not good. I'm in a really bad situation at the moment, uh, but we can change it. No, I, that was the first time he's charged twice in one round. So definitely I'm not getting good luck here, but hopefully we can turn that around by just putting more stuff down. We are getting a lot of sun in return. I wanted to wait until the last minute before we start plonking down a bunch. This is actually not what I wanted there, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, before we start putting down a ton of, oh no, this bottom lane's a bit of in danger, but I guess it's okay for right now. There is that, okay. So this is when we need to do this. Grab that plant food. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. That's not what I wanted to do. That was a waste. Okay, so some things are really not going well so far. Really not going well. There is that at the least but definitely not going the way I had wanted it to. I wanted to move that minecart, but it wasn't letting me. This game is silly. Okay, get that there. I don't have any more plant food left for my bombardment. And these guys are still at large, beating me, me up and all my plants. Come on, come on, come on. There's like four gargantuars. What was with the RNG with this one? This one was just like not fair. It just random chance if, if things go well or if they don't. There we go. Come on, come on. I might still be able to win if this goes well. 
If this goes well, we can turn this around maybe, but that person's points are s s just flying away. Okay, here we go though, I get another thing. That could be good. Uh, I can only hope. Uh, put this here, there we go. More, 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 more. My gosh, this is insane. I'm almost caught back up though, we only have 12 seconds. Only 12 seconds left. Let's get some more grape shot out. Can I catch up? Ah, oh, not quite, not quite. Right? I don't know. So close. Even though I feel like I got really, really unlucky with this one. With all the time Zomboss charged and all the Gargantuars, there was like four Gargantuars at one time. I have not seen luck that bad yet. So that was crazy. Let's hope that doesn't happen more than once. But even then, we were super close to beating that guy. Right towards the end. So I will try again, I guess. I really don't think last round was the fault of the strategy. I just wasn't prepared for how radically different that one was. So I'm gonna keep at it again. I still think we could get even closer to two million if we get the bombardments timed well. So that's what I'm gonna focus on and hope for the best when it comes to Zomboss. I think that's our best bet. So immediately I'm gonna grab some sun, like that, put that down. Bombardment time, here we go. And then these guys start to come in, but at this rate, you know, we have, oh nice, nice, nice. Really good stuff happening. I wish I had the the mint for electricity. That'd be cool. I don't have that one. I think that would help out a lot here. Maybe I'd put that over the second uh, grape shot. That'd be interesting, for sure. Come on, I need a lot more sun. There we go, just a little bit more. I'm probably gonna get a burst of it soon, I can only hope, because if not, I'm in big trouble, because I need to, to deal with those guys. Oh my gosh, okay, so he immediately activated, huh, that was weird. He immediately activated the, the lawnmower. Okay, let's get this going on. Where's my sun at? I'm not getting any sun, okay, here we go. I just have to complain about it, and then the game will give it to me. There we go, there we go. No, don't do it. Oh, he got sun right at the last moment, that was beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's do this, and that. He's about to get rid of that electric key, but only so much I could do about that, especially with his, not very much sun. So I'm trying to fix that up. And we're coming up on the last minute, but I'm still trying to build everything up. Uh, get that there, end here. Okay, that should be good enough so that I could do this, that, and not quite. Here we go, there we go. Uh, do that. Things are getting really risky towards the bottom, so if I could get another burst of sun, that'd be fantastic, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Okay, this is where we have to start refreshing everything. Like a lot. I can't even tell what's happening on the screen right now, to be honest with you. I am totally clueless. I can only hope things are working in the way that they're supposed to. Come on, we can afford another one. There it is. Uh oh, he got stunned again. Good to see. Let's get that there. Explode this dude, maybe. That'd be great. Okay. Man, oh man, is it crazy. Okay, we got one more of these. We gotta do it now because we're in the last 40 seconds. And now things are going pretty well. I can only hope that the score just continues to boost up more and more, even if he is launching rockets down on us. The bombardment might actually have one more use before all this is said and done. I don't think we need the electric key as much now, so I don't mind replacing it with some uh, melon bolts and stuff. And we're getting a consistent supply of sun, basically. So that's fantastic. Get rid of him. Yeah, I'm really thinking we might be able to do one more bombardment before it's all said and done. Let's make a difference, come on. Maybe not, I don't know, it's gonna be close. It, it really won't matter at this rate, darn. Okay, 1.3 million. Wow, what, what a mismatch. This person only got 36,000, I sort of feel bad about that. Still not that two million I'm looking for, but I think I don't really know how many rounds we've, we've done so far, but that's an extra free gauntlet, that's cool. If we could get two more wins in today's episode, I think I'll be happy with that. I wanted to get up to like 100 crowns, but it's taking a while, especially if I occasionally lose, so I don't know. Um, how many crowns do we have now? Probably close to 80, I'd hope. We have 84. Okay, so yeah, if we go for like two more wins, that'll get us up to 94. So that'd be pretty good. So this might not work out at all. We will have to see, but I'm going to reload. 
and do all of that. And then up this way, just put as many sun trims as I can like physically put. And just get like a ridiculous amount of sun. A ridiculous amount. And then I'm gonna dig up a lot of these guys. I gotta do that and then that one spot is where I'm gonna put enlightenment. We'll see how it goes. I actually had some extra sun. I probably should have put down some more um, blastberry vines. Maybe this will be better. Maybe it'll be a lot worse. We'll just have to wait and see. But I'll have so much sun, it'll be crazy. So like, that'll be good. Uh, blastberry vine. There we go. So much sun, so much sun. And here comes some more of it. So this is where I gotta start, no, digging things up. I dug the wrong thing up, wrong thing up unfortunately. Um, but now the cooldowns is what's really gonna start getting me if I'm not careful. So that's what I gotta work on now as much as possible. Um, and let the sun trims that are out just stay there. <laughs> work as little uh, barricades, if not anything else. So I got that going on. I have all the electric bees I need. I really don't need one more than one row, as far as I can tell. It's better to focus on everything else. Uh, please don't get rid of that. I definitely think Zomboss is being a whole lot more harsh now than he normally is. Um, maybe I'm wrong, we'll find out. But I might as well put out another one of these. Get some more sun. There we go. Now I really don't think I'm gonna need any more sun than this. But once again, they're not really hurting anybody being out, they're just blocking zombies, which is something I greatly prefer, is when we have stuff that will block zombies. Because we don't have the grape shot to block anything off anymore. So, or to like slow anything down. So this is really important. And when we have enough space, or I, I need to make some space, because I have 2,000 sun even now, so that's great. To build out more of these guys as much as possible. We're coming into the last minute of everything soon. Oh no, and he's about to take out more stuff. Oh boy, I don't even know where to put things. It is a little bit overwhelming at the moment, gotta be honest. If I can just hold out another minute or two, keep putting the Blastberry Vines, and then bombardment, bombardment. Put that there. Uh, I might just put this there to see if it doesn't stop them up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if this is going as well as I'd like it to. Oh my gosh, Zomboss, are you serious, dude? Are you serious? Come on. This is the last minute, so we just need consistent, constant, never-ending, unnerving amounts of bombardments. I mean, I might, might wanna wait a second for this one to properly disappear, but I don't know if I have enough time to you know, consistently do that. And now we have sun, we just don't have the cooldowns working for us. And hopefully that'll change as we move forward. Put down another one. There we go. Zomboss is definitely being tough on us this time. So I don't have any more bombardments left. That was my last one, but that's okay. Lots of damage going out. I hope that we can at least break a billion points here. I think we can. I believe in us. I'm just putting anything I can afford out, which Luckily, is a lot of stuff seen. Oh man, only a couple of seconds remaining. I feel like that was a lot more work for not too many more points though. So I think that definitely our strategy with the double cherry bombs or grape shots, I'm sorry, is superior. I would love to get two million. I don't know if it's gonna happen without it just being really lucky. That wasn't the luckiest round, but it definitely wasn't the unluckiest round. So we'll go for one more win. I think that'd be good. So let's get to it. So back to this, last round of the day. We'll see how it goes, Zomboss is rolling in. Try to be nice to me this time, Zomboss, I'd really appreciate it. Let's just immediately grab some sun, as soon as it lets me. Ready, and boom, boom, got the next one. That's enough for bombardment. Then we get the group of sun like right away, which is really fortunate, which I'm going to use just to plan out more grape shots for the most part. If I can afford more, that's always good, but right now this is all I really need. And I guess I could put out one more, because there's, there's a lot of sun here. There we go. Our, our first melon pull of the round. Hopefully we get a big group of sun soon. Yep, there it is, there it is. Got it. And we just need to get one more. And there we go, already two rounds of ah! <laughs> that's way too many rounds of ah! It's not what I wanted. Oh gosh, come on, Zomboss, what's your dealio? It's almost like you wanna eat our brains or something. Definitely feels like it, you're making my brain numb with all this crazy action. Okay, so, I just did a bombardment, let's do another one to get this plant food. Pretty early plant food though, which I do appreciate. So thank you to whatever zombie dropped that one. There we go. 
So I could at least do that and this. Okay. I don't know if I should cherry bomb this guy, but I'm going to cherry bomb him. Not cherry bomb, grape shot, you know. You know, I'm focused. I just say what I remember. Uh, okay, that wasn't really where I wanted to put that. I keep on forgetting, I gotta move the minecart first in that situation, because the game won't let me move it any other way. Okay, so bombardment's almost available again, which is exactly what I want. Get rid of any uh, zombie that might be a threat to that being set up for now. Then we're going into the last minute here, so this is where we really want things to go as crazy as possible. Oh man, and I meant crazy as in good for me. I might actually just activate this lawnmower. I mean, I wanted to do that sooner before he destroyed the plant, but okay. Um, and now the game's giving me no sun whatsoever. Here we go. Do this. Stop that. Okay, just stop that. There. Oh my gosh, this game sometimes. Keep going with it, we need more. Okay. There we go. Cherry bomb these guys. Things are just going awful here. Just plain awful. We still have 35 seconds, so I'm making the most of it. And as soon as that is done, uh, put that there, I guess. Bombardment again. Get these guys beat up. Because we really need them gone. And right now, they're not leaving. Oh my gosh, we might not even break a million this time. I don't know why it gets harder and harder the farther you go along. Zomboss just throws more stuff at you. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but like the more times we try, I feel like the worse luck we get. I'm happy with the one score we got, the 1.7 million. We did break a million this time, so at least that's good. You won, and more importantly, we won. So that means we get another uh, reward. We get two pinatas. What are gonna be inside of these ones? 10 more experience for the electric blueberry and for the red stinger. Oh, that's a level up for the red stinger. That's always good to see. And with that done, I will continue to try to earn up more gauntlets during the next couple of, ep not gauntlets, crowns in the next couple of episodes and maybe even between episodes so that we can get Blastberry Vine unlocked and I can do a showcase video on that sooner or later. But yeah, let me know your strategies for this Blastberry Vine and friends versus Zomboss battles. I would love to hear what your strategy is, your highest score, all that kind of cool stuff. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Before you go, be sure to comment Zomboss Zebra so now you've watched at the end if you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.